Hello everyone, I just thought I'd show you my latest delivery. I thought I'd order some of these Gemini booms for my rigs. A bit of heat shrink in there. For when you haven't got time to make your own. I do like to make my own rigs and everything, but when life's busy and you have got, haven't got a lot of time on your hands, if you can find a decent company that sells trusted rigs and booms and other things then there's no harm in buying them and giving them a go this is the first time i bought from gemini actually so i've got a friend that uses them regularly and he swears that that's all he ever buys he sticks with them so this one is for the turbo german rig I've gone for the five and a half inch length and these two are for the Ronnie rigs five and a half inch again and the heat shrink you get 50 pieces of the heat shrink and it's really it's not expensive at all look if I go on the uh, oops sorry heat shrink Get 50 of them for £1.99. I think that's a good deal for 50 bits of this. And those tidy booms are, you get a free in a pack for three ninety nine. Save you the hassle of making them yourself. Those three Ronnies, you get three in a pack. I've got three packs. So it came to 11.97. For how many have I got? Three, six, nine, twelve booms, a pack of 50 heat shrinks, and with delivery, which was only two quid, it came to 20 quid in total. So that's pretty good. I think I'll try and do a demonstration, even though this has been my first time doing it myself to show you how the hooks attach and how I'm going to use them. So I'm going to use one of these Gardener Mugger hooks. You can use whatever hook you prefer, but I've heard good things about these. I've never used them even, but this will be the first time next time I go out fishing. Well, they're sharp. So there's my Mugger hook. A little bit of the sleeving goes on the hook, then you grab your Ronnie rig, boom, goes through the eye of the hook, this sleeving. slides up and over and then you heat shrink that so it shrinks over that over the link and then the hook cannot come off because it's heat shrunk on next I'd put my bait screw on I wasn't sure bait screws before but I've been catching fish using them so I'm yeah, I'm really uh, quite into the bait screws now. Put your bait screw on. It's difficult. You've got the little stop. Slide that round. Oh, that's a tight fit. And that's what you want, actually. You want that tight fit. Twist the boilie on. Twist, 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 twist. Okay. So now, you can imagine that is the presentation. It'll lay flat on the bottom. This will be popping up off the bottom exactly like this. 
if you if you find that this is doing this raising up off the bottom if the pop-up's too buoyant sometimes you can give the pop-up a squeeze if it's soft enough and then that takes in a little bit of water and then it might settle properly on the bottom like this if it's still popping up too much you can put maybe a shot here or maybe get some putty mold it around maybe this section if that's how you want it presented so you imagine this is part of my helicopter setup I cast out this boom lays flat on the bottom like that and that's a presentation and that's what your boil is going to look like to any fish that come by and it's got movement on the boilie screw itself and the ring down here there's lots of movement so whichever way the cup picks it up you should hook a fish and hopefully catch it so there you go a quick video of what I just ordered the Gemini booms these are mugger hooks, but like I said, other companies do their own booms. You can you can shop with whoever you like. You can use whichever hooks you like. I've chose to go with the mugger ones. Who are they made by? Mugger Gardener. Gardener have been around for years and they're they're decent. Yes, hope you like the video. If you're looking for a kind of setup like this, then um I do recommend Gemini just because my best buddy has been using them for years and he swears by them. So I will update you in a future video if I do catch. Oh, they chuck up. Peach and pepper. See you later, folks.